Not as bad as Ben Perry, she, Coach. My, my mother moved quicker than that. A little tight, Coach. A little tight? What do you got to be tight way. from? Bet you got to work to be tight. This time, I mean, it's all it's all about football, but any two seconds you can get your mind off, off of it helps not just get through the grind, but have fun doing it. We got a lot of characters on our team. There's lots of guys that, uh, you know, try to be funny and try to get the team going, especially when two days is kind of a grind. Sometimes you lose sight of uh, kind of the bigger picture and what's going on. So um, it's always good to kind of have that moment to take a breath, uh, really just have a good laugh. <laughs> when you're around the guys all the time, you know, you're, you're eating with them, you know, you maybe have some quirky habits or something like that, and you joke around about it. And that's, that's the little stuff. And when you have that, that's what brings it together. There's plenty of guys on the team that uh, keep things light, especially, you know, during camp when, uh, you know, there's a lot, it's a lot of a physical grind and emotional grind. There's definitely people that can, you know, ri uh, raise our spirits a little bit. <laughs> Camp is tough for you know everybody. You know, it's it's just as tough as it was for me the first year. But what's important is that we're all doing it together. We're here together around each other all day long. And when you're around each other, I feel like you know what? Even if you don't want to, you you're forced to build teamwork and you know friendships. Come on. It's a bonding thing, really, being together as a team. You know, spending so much time together as a team, you get to know each other really well, and uh, you know, you're able to share those kind of those kind of jokes and that laughter. <laughs> they have a lot of fun when they're together, which is good. It shows that our team is coming together. Um, I think that teams that are more like a family, uh, that laugh and joke um, and have a good time together, it shows the bond that they have and and that should carry over to the football field. We have our class clowns, we like to call them. We have all those kind of guys that you know we know in the locker room, but you know we give them a lot more attention when they execute on the field because you know in the end we're we're a team that's trying to accomplish victories. We're going to build this on concrete, not sand. It's been on sand too damn long. What building on concrete means to me is that a uh, coach killer is coming in and he wants to build a solid foundation. Play hard, block hard, play physical. It's a new coach, so it's really it's a clean slate. It's a great opportunity for those guys who maybe haven't uh, been an impact player in the past. 25 in the middle, next group. I love the new coaching staff, and I think they're, they're taking a turn for the better. Good job. Here we go. With Coach Kill changing the program, we know how hard we've been working. We're going to bring a lot of funk to the Big Ten, a lot of surprises. Minnesota's been waiting for, waiting for the Gophers to get back on track for, for years now. If any coaching staff can do it, I really believe in this coaching staff, and I think this is the one to do it. When we first got the job here and we all came in, we didn't realize how great the tradition was here at the University of Minnesota. You got to learn about the past and the history before you can go into the future. You look at the past traditions and you look at the past people that played this great game. The tradition of this program, it's, it's, it's way up there in, in the ranks of college football throughout the country. I think it's really important to, you know, start putting some more numbers up on uh, up on the wall down there and you know in our team room and things like that you know big 10 championships national championships it's been done before and i think we really it's important that we you know we continue to make history and continue to add to the storied tradition that is you know minnesota football who's your favorite player um i would say whoever but he retired so. yeah. i grew up watching the gophers i mean it was saturday saturday was the gopher game so when i got the chance to come here i was really excited about it I definitely bleed maroon and gold, and I've been bleeding maroon and gold for a very, very long time throughout my life. I've been singing the Rouser since I was in second grade and growing up dreaming of, you know, uh, seeing the Gophers play in the Rose Bowl. I've got kind of to witness firsthand the Gophers struggling throughout the years being a Minnesota guy, and I think if getting the chance to come here and help turn it around, it's, it'd be awesome and it's a big motivator. A big reason why I wanted to come here, I wanted to be a part of the team that, you know, took the University of Minnesota to Pasadena, and that was something that was really important to me. But you got to understand, you got this game is tough. I'm hoping finally that this will, you know, say this was the group of kids and coaches that got us leading to a Big Ten championship and a national championship. I really think that, you know, we go out and, you know, we compete and work our butts off at USC and come home with a victory, people will start taking us seriously. Two historic programs, USC and Minnesota. It's a real great chance for us to kind of bring that historic vibe back to back to the program. No, you can't. It's going to be a big opportunity for us. 
show the world what um, what the Gophers are going to do, and it'll be a great start to a great turnaround in college football. It's a great opportunity for us to reestablish ourselves as one of those national powers.